Usually in most of crisis, there's an absence of faith. So do your part to reject fear. And in times of crisis, you can either fall into your faith or you can fall into your fear. Guess what most people do? They fall into their fears. Why? Because it's easier to do. Panic mode is easier to do. Confidence mode, strength mode, resilience mode, that's what leaders do. So do your part to reject fear in moments like this. Show leadership to your family, have a conversation with your children, have a, reset a conversation with your spouse, have a conversation with your parents. That's the moment right now where you need to lead in the home. And my last point is this. Pray like it's up to God, but work like it's up to you. When you find your situation of lack of clarity, fear has an opportunity to come in, but the moment faith comes in, guess what happens to fear? Guess what happens to the darkness? Guess what happens to the dark thoughts? Immediately they go away. So what can inject that faith into your life? Having your faith in God, knowing that God, trust in God, your prayer life is intact. And some of you guys say, oh, man, that's corny. I dare you right now. Open up your mouth and say, praying to God, Lord God, help me through this process. Think me more clear as your son, as your daughter. What do I need to see? What wisdom do I need to see in this moment? How do I lead my family? What resources do I need? Give that a shot. Think about what happens when you allow yourself to be vulnerable to the big man upstairs. And guess what the big man upstairs wants to do? He's like, oh, my son, daughter, I just wanted to bless you. And I was waiting for you to ask. Isn't it the way some of you are with your own children? What more do you think your father in heaven wants to do to you? To bless you when you ask. When your children ask you for something, don't you want to provide them? Where do you think we got that from? That's the God wiring, the spiritual wiring that's in all of us. And just know this too as well. President Bukele was interviewed by Tucker Carlson a couple months ago. And he said, what was your turnaround for El Salvador? Because President Bukele is a very young president leading El Salvador. What was your three-point economic plan solution to leading the turnaround of El Salvador? Because point number one was the most important point to President Bukele. And guess what point number one was? Win the spiritual battle. What? Win the spiritual battle? Wait, we're talking about a battle here between flesh and blood. We're talking about a battle here about my brothers and sisters. We're talking about a battle here between this gang and this gang. You're talking about a battle of a spiritual battle? That's right. President Bekele believed in winning the spiritual battle. Because once you win the spiritual, that vertical battle, then you got God's covering. Because you win the vertical battle, guess what you win? You win the horizontal, earthly battle. Mm -hmm.